Among carnivorous plants, the best known is probably the Venus flytrap, its native habitat limited to a small region of southern North Carolina. Unlike other plants that just stay in place and derive their nutrients from the soil, the flytrap and other carnivorous plants use insects as a means to get uh, important nutrients that they're, they're lacking in our local soils here. There are only a few legally protected areas where flytraps grow, but a plant that traps and digests insects is fascinating to collectors, and they're a favorite target for poachers. In a single day, thieves have stolen thousands of fly traps from protected preserves, selling them in nurseries and roadside stands. Uncontrolled poaching could quickly wipe out this species in the wild, but enforcing laws against poaching is not easy. The real problem with uh, prosecuting Venus flytrap poachers has been that you literally have to catch them in the act. Once the flytrap is removed from the site and shows up in a local nursery, there's simply no way to practically tell where that flytrap came from. To solve that problem, the Nature Conservancy is working with state authorities to mark flytraps so the plants can be traced back to their original source. We're applying an iridescent powder to the stem of the flytrap plants over the growing season, the flytrap will incorporate that powder into its tissue. The fluorescent dye will glow under an ultraviolet light scanner, allowing state inspectors to spot stolen plants in nurseries. Not all these plants need to be marked to discourage poaching. It's enough for thieves to know that some of the plants they steal can be traced back to these protected areas. And if they are, both the poacher and the nursery can be prosecuted. Flytraps are also threatened by development that destroys their habitat and by the suppression of occasional wildfires that were once a natural part of the ecology here. These are very small plants that grow very close to the ground. They require the natural fire regime to keep an open forest floor so that they can flourish. The Nature Conservancy continues its efforts to acquire and protect natural habitat for Venus flytraps, a remarkable species found nowhere else on the planet. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.